Corp. And I'm Catherine Corp. And we're the owners of Pilates on Fifth here in New York City and the creators of Pilates on Fifth online. Today we're here to give you some exercises and tips to how to look better in your short shorts yes. and mini skirts. Mm -hmm. Very important. Very important. <laughs> and before we get into some exercises though, we want to tell you how you can use just moving around your daily life as your personal training gym always. So, which is really good because then you don't have to pay for it. It's free, it's just walking. Free. Just walking. But let's show what most people do when they walk. I'm lifting my arms, so obviously I don't walk like and this. We, but I might pass yeah. on, so just ignore so, that. Most people tend to have that go-getter walk. So give us the go-getter walk where you're always pitched forward a bit. You know, where you're just walking or you have bags on your arms. When you do that, your glutes and up top of your hips should become elongated and thus you're not training them as much. So what you want to do is that when you walk, you want to make sure your hip goes into extension. It's supposed to go into extension, but most of us miss this phase of walking because we're hurrying yes. in life. I sometimes like to think of leaving my back heel on the ground just a split second longer than I think, and then you actually do feel it up right to the top of the back yeah. of the thighs. And you actually, I feel a little bit of a stretch here. But Yeah, so if you think of taking longer strides, and you think of leaving the back heel on the ground just a bit longer, and think of if you have lights, like car lights, mm -hmm. on your hip bones, they shouldn't be pointing to the floor. They right. should be pointing straight ahead and so that you're... Right, and you kind of want to think of them leading the way. You don't want your Shoulder. body to fall into space and then your hips catch up with you. It's kind of like you're your hips are pushing the air away. It's like you're entering the room. Yes. So. <laughs> so, but it can be hard to get that feeling right up here of the uh, muscles we want to activate. So we're going to grab our bands and we're going to show you some exercises that you can do. So we have extra long bands and we sell them on our website. If you, I like the longer ones because many more options. So yeah. <laughs> with them. So we have a logo right in the middle. If I can get mine straight, you put your foot right in the middle, and we'll start with left foot in. And then you're going to give yourself some tension. So you can just walk your hands closer to your foot. And go ahead and bend your arms, and your arms will just be close to your shoulder. And I'm going to turn to the side. Catherine's going to stay okay. in front. And what you're going to do is you're just going to bend the leg up and then press it down. Make sure your heel comes either right to the other heel or slightly behind. So you get that feeling of hip extension. Now make sure if it's not enough tension, just walk. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. So one thing you want to make sure of, though, is you want to make sure that when you lift your knee, you do not lift your hip. Right. So I, since you can see my hip better, you don't want this to happen. Right. So it's not like, and the doggy over the fire hydrant, and then come back down. So I keep doing this. So I think we're on eight. We'll do yep. ten. And nine. Feel how you can start to feel these right up here, because that's like the trouble spot. Right. It's a spot for everyone, just so you know, and then we're going to switch feet just because you know it. Yep, a side bonus, if you're holding your the band strongly, you kind of get your yeah. biceps too. Don't hold yeah, them. Yeah, yeah that's not good. Open, so we, we pick up and press down. And again, you're coming right to the other foot. Be nice and parallel, I just noticed it wasn't. Yes, so make sure you're not lifting the hip. If, walk your hands down. Yeah. If you have the luxury of doing this in front of a mirror, it's a really good idea to do that, and that way you can really see if your hip yeah. is hiking or not. Seven. And eight, two more like this. And nine. And one more time, maybe ten. Lovely. Now, switch feet again. But what we're going to do now is you're going to stand. It's, you can do this flat. So I'll show it flat. Catherine will show it up from the side. Um, the reason we have her up on something and what we recommend is you want to make sure the hips stay level. So you'll see that if I start swinging, can you see my hip bones? I have put my fingers. If I start swinging and I'm thinking only of balancing, I'm going to lift this hip. You want to keep the hips level, which is why it can be useful. In fact, I'll turn mine and just face front. So you want to stand up. Now you reach your arms forward holding your band and you're just going to pulse back one and two. It's a nice balance. I could be nice and let us hold on to the bar. <laughs> why? What's the fun in that? So notice how, and Catherine's going to keep going. Notice how her back is not arching. So I'm not doing wrong. this. See how that is like arching. I had to look in our meter yeah. we have there to make sure. It's she also harder to balance if you lose that stability. Yes, and you're, so you're pulling in and up right here and swinging the leg. And switch feet and do the other side. And I'm just going to have mm -hmm. you do it so I make sure that. Perfect. And I'll turn right. the other way so you can see. Yes. So draw your abs in and up. And reaching the leg back. Yes. So your hip has 15 to 20 degrees of extension available to it before the lumbar spine has to become involved. But most of us never really take our leg more than Right, so you don't want it to, it's not about this. Right, it's just about right. staying completely flat right here. Yes. 
And whenever you get to 10, you can stop. <laughs> I think that was 10. <laughs> so that is something that you can do standing. Ooh, I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're standing in line waiting for something, as many of us have to do, take a moment to make sure you're not here. And right. just really think of dropping your tailbone, like if right down between your heels. Right. You it's like you have a sinker. <laughs> yes. So you don't want to be in a posterior tilt, but you most of us tend to kind of, or some people do this, so you want to be right up on your... Right, just think of, you know, head, shoulders, knees and toes. Yes. You want to stack everything down the chain. Okay, so we're going to come down to all fours, and for this, you want to put the band on the top of your foot, and then cross it underneath, and then it comes back around. That way it doesn't come flying on your foot and whacking you in the head. Yes, you will not be harmed, it just hurts. Yes. And then you kind of feel silly too. I think we have a blooper of that happening. Then we're in all fours position, and you're just going to bring the knee in and press back. Notice how we're going to a straight line, so you're not doing one of those, and you're keeping the abs pulled in, and in and press back. Knee in and press back. So the abs are pulling in and up the whole time, and Catherine's going to count this for five. Yep. And you want to make sure that if you go a little higher than a straight line, that's fine, but we're not trying to do anything grandiose. And nine. Yep. And this one's ten. Yes. Perfect. Stay there, and now you're going to circle in, two, three, and your little bum should be on fire right now. Yeah, but you're pulling your abs in and up. Eight in the other way. And one. And abs are always pulling in and up. And four. And just notice it's little circles focusing on the up yeah. rather than the down. Eight. Woohoo. All right. Yeah. Easiest way to switch is to bring your foot out. <laughs> Yes, we haven't found a clever way to do this yet. Yes. I mean, if you don't, if you're not afraid of coming and hitting you in the head, then you can just switch your feet the more. Yep, she's a lot faster than I am. You can go ahead, Kimberly. Okay. I'll that's catch okay. up. Mm -hmm. So abs are in and up. Take a moment also to think of your shoulder blades and bring the knee in and press back. And two, and back, and three. More, more, and again, abs are in shoulder, but also scapula stable on the back. Two more, and nine. Leave it straight on number 10, and circle in, and in, and two. Nice and parallel, four, five, six, seven, eight the other way, eight, seven, knee is straight, four, three, two, one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah. <laughs> so we're switching feet, and we're going to, going to go to side line. And this time you don't have to do a fancy wrap unless you liked it that much. Mm -hmm. You can just move it around your foot and prop yourself up on your elbow. You have the option of bending this knee because the focus is here. But start with your hips back, meaning that you're not rocked back. You want your hip bones right on top of one another. And then you're going to bend and stretch here. Bend and stretch your leg and go slightly behind you. If it helps, you can hold the band with both hands, whatever makes you happy. My knees conveniently going right between them. <laughs> One more. Seven. Eight. So you're again focusing on a little bit of hip extension without lower back extension. Perfect. Stay there in circles again. And back. And two. Oops. And three. And four. Abs are in. My, if you heard my whoops, it was because I noticed that my leg was turning out. So you want to stay parallel yes. here. Okay. Two and three. So you might be feeling a nice little yes. saddlebag in there. Two, <laughs> seven, eight. Bend your knee. Go to the other side. Keep it on this foot. Prop it in the elbow. Lift the top leg about hip height. Yeah. This one is easier to drop if you hold the both hands. And go down. And two. So it's a little inner thigh. Three and four and five. We're not doing it this way because you tend to pull back. Two more. Seven. Okay, hey, you gotta switch. You can slide your way in. Ooh, nice. Okay, I did it. Yay. Hey. <laughs> and stretch. So again, hip bones are stacked on top of each other. Three. And you want to make sure that you're going to do very slight hip extension without lumbar extension. We did eight or ten before. We did ten. This is eight here. Two more. And nine. Ten, you stay out and circle back and back and two again to pull your abs in. Checking for parallel. Oops, sorry. That was a personal no note. Eight and the other way. And one and two and three and four five six seven eight. Bend your knee. 
your knees and sit up. Coming to the other side for inner thigh and the other side. And again, if you want to do it this way, that's fine, but people tend to roll backwards, mm -hmm. which is why we have you just lifting. Mm -hmm. Top hip and up. And two. You don't go very far because no. it's a small movement. Four. It's okay if it's hard. <laughs> So as Kimberly mentioned before about standing in line, making sure you're balanced, this is a great thing to do when you're standing in line, especially if you're going crazy because the line's not moving as quickly as you'd like it to move. So see if you can just do this. You can feel it right up the chain of the back of your leg. And if you're focusing on pelvic placement as well, then you can really feel it up into your tops of the hamstrings, tops yep. of the back of the thighs. Five, six. And the reason we do this is because strong calf muscles are important, but also it helps with a nice shape of the leg. You don't want your leg to go down until... <laughs> oh, yeah, sort of like a little drumstick. A little drumstick. <laughs> and we're going to do 16 more. And you don't have to be super turned out. But it's always good to get the calf muscle working. Yes. And don't do this. I'm going to do it wrong. Don't press up and then just drop down. And press up and drop down. You want to work evenly in both directions. And eight more. Eight. And so if you do 32 of these, you know, 16 more, 16 other, you're going to feel it. Four more. Almost feel like your inner thighs are coming together at the end. One more. Two more. One more. Lovely. Ooh. Lastly, we'll turn. We're going to stretch the calf. But at the same time, think of up and over, like you're inside a bubble and you're trying to be the bubble. Like make be it the bubble. So that you have that heel, you're getting a little calf and a little hip flex in the front. And technically... 30 seconds would be good, but we're not going to bore you with you watching us do this for 30 seconds. Oh no, I'm just thinking about being the bubble. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll go the other way. So we need a t-shirt. It says the be, bubble. The be the bubble. And so you're reaching through the heel and then lengthening up here. We have really short Achilles tendons, yeah. so most nor mortals will be able to put their heel down in this position. Yeah. We actually were diagnosed with short Achilles tendons at age four, and somehow our mother just didn't believe the doctor. <laughs> and you can't expect a four-year-old to do exercises on their own. We can hardly get adults to do exercises on their own. Anyway. Alrighty, so those are some tips for looking better in your short shorts and your mini skirts. Hope you enjoyed it.